Liz Earle is right here. Her new book, The Good Menopause Guide. Now, this is a cracker. Yeah. This really <laughs> oh, is. It's you. out today. It's like out everything today. we need to know. Well, do you know, it's, it's right International here. Women's Day. Yep. And I felt, what is more important than actually talking about the second half of our lives? Because there is this deafening silence, as you know, when you did the M word yeah. last year, and the reaction to it. Every single woman, if we live long enough, is going to go through the menopause. Exactly. And yet there is nothing. There's all this, you know, antenatal and pregnancy support and everything, and not every woman will have a baby, but all of us will go through it. And it's not just the menopause, you know, it's the perimenopause, which yeah, happens earlier. Yeah, this is earlier. something that a lot of people don't really know about. Do you know, I mean, I'm a health writer and I've never even heard of it. I, was, I mean, I'll confess to that because it's not something that's talked about, but it, basically it happens. Your menopause is when, the, technically, it's when you haven't had a period for a year. Right. And that's kind of like finish, cut off. Mm perimenopause, but it doesn't happen overnight. You know, oestrogen isn't like a tap that gets sure. switched off. It declines very slowly and it can take 10 years for that to happen. So all during your 40s, when you're feeling a bit low, maybe a bit anxious, your skin changes, you can feel depressed, you can be prescribed antidepressants, you know, wrongly. Know. Yeah. And all of that is actually due to low levels of oestrogen. And there are such simple ways to boost it and to feel better and to get better quality sleep and all those things. I know, it's brilliant. It's, it's all in here. It's fantastic. Your own experience, though, you're 47 years old. No. No, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. When I was. You were, I'm just saying, when, when you I was, were... I wish when you were I was 47, 47 I'm 54. You look about 12. <laughs> but when you, light, when, you know, light. <laughs> when you were 47, though, period stopped, and you kind of thought, oh, it's the men. And I just thought, oh, well, you know, that's it then, you know, late 40s. Um, but no, there was another reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that as a mother of four, I didn't spot the symptoms of actually being pregnant. Was it 47? At 47. Well? I was nearly 48 when I had wow, him. Wow, amazing. And, it, I mean, he was an unexpected blessing. But it was... So, for me, my own experience was kind of blurred because yeah. I, I wasn't sure what my hormones were doing, frankly, for <laughs> that in an years. uproar, in an uproar, <laughs> they were. They really were. But 